Hi, my name is Alistair Chapman and I'd like to introduce you to this. This is Sony's UWPD series of radio mic equipment. Uh, I have here a URX P03 receiver and a UTX B03 transmitter. And there are also uh, plug-in transmitters and a handheld wireless mic also in this product range. But these really, I think, are possibly the one that most people will be using and maybe the most useful. Now, this is a hybrid analog digital system. So what exactly does that mean? Well, Sony do make a range of 100% of digital wireless microphones. And those comprise of a digital transmitter that digitally transmits the signal to a receiver, a digital receiver that then receives that digital signal, decodes it, and turns it into audio to feed it to the camera. Now with this system, with the UWPD system, the transmitter has a digital processor. So it takes the audio from the microphone and processes that digitally before transmitting the signal as an analog signal to the receiver. And then in the receiver, the signal is processed digitally and then converted into the audio that goes to the camera. That digital processing helps reduce noise and hiss within the microphone system. So it has digital processing, but the actual transmission between the transmitter and the receiver is analog. So it's a hybrid system. And when you listen to these radio mics, if you listen very carefully to the quality, yes, I do find that there is a little bit less hiss and a slightly wider dynamic range from this digital radio or hybrid system than from my previous analog only system. But that, in small, that improvement is actually only quite small. So given that the audio improvements are perhaps small, why choose these over another similar uh, analog radio mic? Well, these have some really neat features and actually for me, that was one of the reasons for wanting to get these. If we look at the receiver on the bottom, there is a docking port and a USB port. Now using these, you can charge the radio mic because you can put rechargeable batteries in this and charge it from an ordinary USB charger, say a cell phone charger. You can also uh, power the radio mic from the USB. So if your camera has a USB socket on it, and many of them do, that provides power, you can use that to power this radio microphone. If your camera has one of Sony's MI shoes on it, there's a docking station uh, for some cameras that will work with this, docks directly into it, and then there are no cables to connect the radio mic to the camera. It docks directly with the camera, and the audio is passed via that shoe to the camera, and the, ca and the microphone is powered by the camera. So that's a really neat feature. On the transmitter, again, we have a USB socket. So we can charge the transmitter with a USB type charger. Again, you have to put nickel metal hydride batteries in the transmitter. So no need to take lots and lots of batteries with you. Instead, you can charge up batteries overnight if you're on a long trip or something like that. And that will save costs. It's better for the environment amongst other things. Also, it means that if you've got to power the transmitter for a very long time, you could use an external power supply of some sort of five volt USB compatible power supply. So one advantage. Another advantage is that these have, if you look on the side here, there is an infrared port on these devices. And we can use that infrared uh, port to synchronize the receiver with the transmitter. And a particularly useful feature of that is that when I turn this receiver on, if I press the set button while pressing the power button and turn this on, it will scan for a clear frequency. I'm just going to put the transmitter on while we do that. So that's now scanning for a clear frequency. And once it finds a clear frequency, that channel number will flash and we press set. It now says sync, yes or no. So I'm going to press set again. Now on the, on the transmitter, I press set on that and it says sync, yes or no. I press plus, yes and set. And now the transmitter has synced with the receiver. So the transmitter is now on the same clear frequency that the receiver found when it scanned. It's as simple as that. So now my receiver 
went off, it found a clear channel for me to use, and then using the infrared, it synced the transmitter to the receiver, and I know that everything is good. And that really is a very neat feature with these microphones. So um, I recommend these to you. Um, you have two outputs on the receiver, the standard output as well as a headphone output. You can use that headphone output as an additional secondary output if you need to. The transmitter can take both a microphone and a line level input. That's all programmable in the menu. You have high and low power settings. The low power settings gives you a very long battery life. Um, I'm finding I'm getting at least six hours out of this with standard alkaline batteries, so very good battery life anyway. So really a very nice radio mic system, smaller, more compact than the previous similar versions from Sony. So it's much, uh, much smaller, the belt pack transmitter and the receiver are both smaller. So it makes it for a neater unit. And I really like these. I recommend them, I use them, so give them a whirl. If you want more information on these radio mics, you can take a look at my review on www.xdcam-user.com or go to pro.sony.eu for more information. A really nice radio mic system.